St. Lucia's national COVID-19 vaccination campaign has gained significant ground since implementation four months ago. However, the Ministry of Health says there is still considerable work to be done. As of Sunday, 13th June 2021, a total of 29,655 first doses and 20,589 second doses of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine had been administered. This represents 16.4% and 11.4% of the population receiving the first and second doses respectively. During the month of May 2021, the campaign modified its initial phased approach to be complemented with a mobile component to facilitate greater ease of access to the vaccine by the general public. Nurse Tekla Jabatis is the Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Vaccination Supervisor. Vaccines are offered at routine static vaccination sites every week island-wide, as well as at mobile sites within communities and at locations of high human traffic. The elderly, people with mobile challenges, and people living with chronic non-communicable conditions continue to be vaccinated within their homes to ensure individuals at high risk of severe COVID-19 infection are rich and provided with the protection offered by the vaccine. It should be noted that a cross-section of the private sector has partnered with the Ministry of Health to provide vaccine to their management and staff within their workplace. This has proven to be an effective approach for increasing vaccination coverage amounts individuals in their productive years of life. The Ministry of Health notes particular success with this strategy within the hotel sector. To date, some hotels have achieved vaccine coverage of about 65 to 70 percent of their staff complement. This is a remarkable achievement, especially in a sector where there is a higher risk of possible exposure to the COVID-19 virus, given the nature of the heightened level of daily interaction with a wide range of people. This reduces the likelihood of a surge in cases, given this level of protection and helping strengthen productivity in that sector. As the economy slowly reopens and restrictions are lessened, Nurse Bati says the need to have a significant proportion of the workforce covered with the COVID-19 vaccine becomes increasingly important to protect the health of our citizenry. She notes that the demand for vaccines worldwide far surpasses the supply as we are still in a critical point in the pandemic where vaccine supply is limited. However, St. Lucia's third trance of the vaccine under the COVAX facility is expected in the coming weeks. Currently, the AstraZeneca vaccine is the only vaccine available in St. Lucia. The Ministry of Health continues to engage authorized vaccine suppliers with the intention of adding other COVID-19 vaccines to the current program. Nurse Jabati is also assured that the Ministry is carefully monitoring the use of the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccine safety and monitoring for severe adverse events remain a critical component of the vaccine rollout. It has been noted that recent reports released by global health authorities indicates that there is an association of blood clotting events after the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We at the Ministry of Health are aware that this may have contributed to a level of hesitancy towards the vaccine and thus affecting uptake. We assure all that these events have been confirmed as being extremely rare and an unlikely expected outcome for the vast majority of people who receive this vaccine. It is important to consider that clotting problems are a common complication of COVID-19 infection and it is also associated with other prevalent health conditions, including obesity. The Ministry of Health assures the citizenry that the safety of each individual is of paramount importance. There is in place a vaccine monitoring system which allows for the keeping of a record of any adverse effect 
and a timely intervention if this occurs. Given this monitoring system, it is important that each individual who has been vaccinated and experience a response beyond the expected side effects, contact the healthcare provider to report the experience. Though this monitoring system exists to capture adverse events in an effort to ensure vaccine safety, Nurse Jabati says it is important to bear in mind that vaccine benefits continue to vastly outweigh any possible risk.